Hudson Swafford's move to the Saudi back tour has turned sour. Hudson Swafford won't be making a quick return to the PGA Tour after being axed by LIV Golf, and it doesn't seem that world number one Scotty Scheffler will be missing him. The 37-year-old is set to be released by the Saudi back tour after a dismal 2024 season, which saw him finish 55th out of 57 players in the individual standings. His best showing this year came at the opening LIV event, in Mayakoba in Mexico, where he was tied for 36th. Swafford had been handed a wild card for the campaign after missing most of 2023 following hip surgery, meaning he should have been exempt from relegation from Greg Norman's venture. However, it seems LIV bosses will not be renewing his contract regardless. The American, who played in the inaugural LIV event at Centurion in June 2022, has since made a total of 1.73 million pounds from 19 Rebel tournaments. But his defection two years ago meant an indefinite suspension from the PGA Tour. He will now have a period of 12 months before he's eligible to apply to rejoin the status quo and is unlikely to be welcomed with open arms after trying to take legal action against the circuit shortly after his LIV move. Swafford was one of three U.S. professionals alongside Tyler Gooch and Matt Jones who went to court in a bid to get their PGA Tour bans overturned so they could compete in the lucrative FedEx Cup playoffs. A district judge turned down their appeal, which led to a scathing assessment of the trio from Scheffler. It's one of those deals where those guys kind of made their decision to go join another tour, and they broke the rules and regulations of our tour, he said. Now they're trying to sue us. It is definitely more than a bit frustrating. I heard that was going to happen, and I know some guys aren't surprised to see it, but I definitely am surprised to see some guys now suing us.